Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the mail app settings. So, um, as we've learned in our other tech bits, um, every app has a setting, settings that you can change and customize. And on the computer, you go into a program and its preferences or settings are in the program. On the iPad, all the settings for every app is in this little settings icon. So, I'm going to tap on that. Okay, and on the left, or if you were on the phone, this would be one screen, and then when you tapped on something, this screen would come up, but the iPad is bigger, so it's showing both. Right. Um, on, but here, for and then the iPad, on the left, it's showing you all the apps that you can change the settings for, which is great. So we are talking about the mail app settings today. So I'm going to scroll around until I find mail, and I'm going to tap on that. Then on the left, it's going to bring up all the settings you can change. Um, Apple, oops, Apple has grouped mail, contacts, and calendar settings together for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but if we look um, over here, the first part here says accounts, and this has to do with your um, mail accounts that you might or might not have set up, and we have a special, uh, separate tech bit for that. Look for um, adding a new account. Yeah. So I'm going to scroll down to mail, where it says mail, and go over the mail settings. This first one is, is says preview. And I have it set to two. And what this means, you can tap on this, you can pick how many lines. What it means is in your inbox um, of your mail program, when it lists um, what the email is, it'll show a couple lines of the email. Right. Which can be handy. Usually probably two lines. I mean, if you had five, you'd be practically reading the whole email. Right. <laughs> and then you'd have this huge list yeah. to look through. So usually that. two is good to give you an idea of what that email is about. Then we have show to copy labels, and um, that means if you're going to show your um, to or copy labels in the inbox, right? It's it's kind of I don't know. I guess you know, it's showing you who you sent it and who you sent it to and who you copied to. So it would list the email, and then below it, it would say this little um, box with the to, and then the address. And if it was a copy, it would say CC. So it's just right. a way of tracking your emails. Now here's your swipe options, and if I tap on that, um, swiping, you know, in your email program, you can swipe the email and bring up a list of options. And so this is giving you um, a way to customize what they are. If I swipe left, what's it gonna do? It's gonna flag or mark it as unread. Okay. Or none. Or not, right. You can turn that feature off if you find yourself deleting a bunch of email by mistake. Right. <laughs> you can turn that off. And the same if you could tap on swipe right and pick what you want that to be. And, and note that um, here it says archive. Some accounts, some mail accounts like Gmail will um, include archive as a default action for swiping left, but others like the iCloud account, it's trash. So right. this one's a little dangerous if you find you know, you're doing it really quick, you're going to be trashing your emails and you might right. have to go and recover those from the trash can. But you can, um, again, turn this off if you want. I'm not really a swiper, are you? Uh, sometimes I do like to swipe. It's kind of a fun thing <laughs> to just swipe through and delete a whole bunch of emails. But I notice my kids do swiping functions all the time. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. anyways. Um, then we have um, flag style, which is well, you can flag your emails. And this is kind of fun. It's a cute little flag or just a dot. Yeah. You, you can change the color. Or no, just no. the color right. or the flag. I think the flag's cuter, right? Right. I do too. Um, ask before deleting. If you turn this on, every time you go to trash an email, it's going to come up with a message that says, do you really want to delete this? Um, it could be very um, irritating to have that come up it all the time. Be. It could be. But maybe if you deal with really important emails, that's something that you want to have on. Right. But remember, you can always get it back from the trash. So right. It's kind of maybe probably something you don't right. want to do. Right. That's right. Load remote images on or off. What this means is when you get an attachment with your email, um, you can have it so if you had this on, what it's going to do when you tap on the email, it's going to automatically load any pictures or attachments, um, which if you have a slow iPad, that could take a lot of time. So if you turn, um, if you, this is off, you'll just have this little icon that says tap to download. Right. And right. then you can choose when you want to load the email, the attachments or not. Right. And then organized by thread, um, that will keep um, emails that are in a, a, a conversation together. The subject group. 
Right, the yeah. subject, or do the works off the subject. And so that can be kind of handy to keep back and forth conversations in one. So you would, it would show up as one in your email program as one email and you tap on it and then you'd see the whole thread of right. the conversation. Right, and I think it's really, it's nice when you have a lot of people replying to one email. You don't have to look at a whole bunch of them. It takes a little getting used to, but um, I think it's nice. It is nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then this next, then we have another section here, another little section here. Uh, the first one is always blind carbon copy myself. Maybe you always want to, when you send an email, you always want your you to be blind carbon copied. So it'll come back into your inbox. Maybe it's something that you need to do something with. You want to make sure that, that it comes into your inbox so you're reminded of that. You could turn that on or off just by tapping on it. And I suppose they uh, make it a blind carbon copy because they... Don't want you to look crazy to people you're emailing. Right, right exactly. <laughs> I'm emailing, my, emailing myself emailing too. Myself. Um, and also, one thing to note about these things, they look like little sliders, but really you just tap on it. You don't have to slide it. You can, but you can just tap on it too. Mm -hmm. uh, mark addresses. Um, this is a feature that I'm not really sure. Um, the application. The application for it, but you can have it mark addresses not ending with a certain server. Server. In red, and they'll show up um, in red. So in the two, if that's an issue field. for you, or maybe it's a work thing, maybe it's a security yeah. thing for some people um, who right. use their stuff for work. Um, increase quote level. What this will do is every time you forward or reply to an email, it takes the original email and it it puts a line on the left and it makes it a different color when you go into the new email that you're forwarding or replying with. So the people can see, so you can say, see the email below from Karen about um, the seminar details. You and know, it's a way to set it apart from the new email that you're writing. That you're writing will be clear in this way. Right. It creates a line and it makes it a color. And then, you know, maybe you've got um, several that you've done, so then it'll just keep increasing that quote level and right. you could end up with like, you know, like going over, it's basically indenting. Right. Okay, um, signature line. This, this is, is great. awesome, and I think yes. so many people don't know about it. Yes, this is one of Karen's <laughs> this is pet where, peeves. This here. is where it shows up. The default is set from my sent from my iPhone, which yeah, or my iPad. I find yeah. a lame excuse for bad typing. <laughs> right, right. Some people but you think. can change that if you right. want. Yes, and uh, because I have multiple accounts, I can choose a different email for each account if I wanted to. Signature. Signature. Excuse me. Um, or I can do all accounts one and I noticed that this one is wrong We noticed that earlier in a different tech bit. So Barbara.zade at sync. I got to add the rest of it sisters dot com And now that will be right. there, but you so. can put anything you want here like yeah. it's yeah. I always have a thanks comma because right, you can I'm put always, your closing yeah. there if you want. Yep. And then your you name, your phone number, and your email. So it's yep. pretty and standard your one. Website, your address, right. you can put all kinds of a little things. Little quote. Right, a quote. <laughs> Friendly greeting. Please don't please save the environment and don't yeah. put this email. <laughs> oh no. That was so don't popular do that. for so long. Okay. Um, then the last thing is the default account. If you have multiple email accounts, which one do you want to be the default when you do a new email? Okay. Right. So that's just easy. You just tap on the one you want it to be. Yep. And that's it. That's our tech bit on the mail app, the settings. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters tech bit. And please subscribe to our channel.